Hello, my name is Greg, and uh, I'm going to show an overview of Geomagic for SolidWorks product. Um, as you can see on screen, I have SolidWorks 2016 loaded, and today I wanted to show the Geomagic for SolidWorks plugin that we make that runs on top of that software. Um, primarily, this software is used to take polygons, as you can see from the menu on the left there, um, Polygons, they're usually captured with scan data um, connecting to different three-dimensional scanners out there. Uh, this one we captured uh, from a blue light scanner directly inside of our software, uh, this object that we scanned here. Um, but what I wanted to do is an overview of the auto surface command. So throughout the years, Geomagic was the original company to create such a tool. Um, when scanners became prominent, you people were capturing information with those devices, and they want to go to CAD packages. But in order to do so, CAD packages work in NURB surfaces, essentially. Um, so there's a problem there because those are two different modeling families. So we made the uh, surfacing tools to get there, and then eventually we made what we call the auto surface command, which will automatically generate those surfaces based on curvature. Um, so if I just hit the auto surface command like I just did there and I hit apply, I'm just going to let that run while I talk about the software a little bit. Um, so you see down at the bottom left hand side there <clears throat> is a status bar that'll show us um, the progress. But uh, as that goes, I'll do I'll talk about what this plugin does besides the auto surface. So on the left hand side there, um, this this plugin really has three main pieces of functionality. Uh, this side is the scanning and capture side. So we can connect to scanners directly and have them scan inside of SolidWorks. And we also have the ability there to show some of the probing tools. So if you have a portable CMM, the probing tools give you the ability to probe surfaces and solids and sketches directly inside of SolidWorks. Um, so that left-hand side is all about capturing the information inside of that environment. Now the middle area, those are our scan data processing tools. So points and polygons tools, um, those tools are going to help you clean up the data, align the data, uh, reduce or simplify the amount of scan data that you have and merge it together. So that center area is something that we've done for a long time as well where we captured point clouds and polygons and then clean that data up and process it. Now on the right hand side are all the modeling tools. So uh, right here the reference planes and reference axes and things like that those are for extracting SolidWorks reference geometry and then to the right of that, we have, of course, the auto surface command, which I got running right now. And I have other features and things. So I can extract extrusions, revolves, lofted surfaces, cones, um, different things like that. And then after that, on the right hand side, we have the deviation analysis tool, which we'll go over here in a second. So you can see that the auto surface just finished. It only took a, a minute or so, I don't know. And uh, you see that we have a solid in the tree. And the polygon is still showing. So if I go ahead and I turn that polygon off, you can see that there is my solid. And if I turn on the edges, so you can show those, you'll see what the tool essentially does is it kind of shrink wraps surfaces around the outside of the polygon, the triangle object. It's almost like it's upholstering the surface of the shape of this part automatically. They are, they are a little bit random based on the curvature of the part and the shape that's available. But the ability to shrink wrap that is kind of invaluable. So what I'll do now just to show that it's a native solid is just use some SolidWorks tools, establish a sketch, draw a rectangle, and extrude cut that just to show that what we created is editable. So if I just hit OK here, um, you'll see that I chopped off the other side. So you can see that I can do like booleans and cuts and trims and all those different things. So here where the safety goes on this, 
Um, if I just say I want to create a sketch on that center plane and then go normal to and select the circle, I'll just draw a circle in that area. And if I need to dimension it or whatever, I can do that. <clears throat> and then I can poke that hole through. So you can see that the geometry you're creating is useful. It's not just for reference like what you would normally see if you just imported an STL into the vanilla install of SOLIDWORKS. So you see if I just do an extrude cut and remove that area, we have a nice cut through the a hole through the part. So besides that, we have a lot of other tools like I pointed out in the Geomagic for SOLIDWORKS. Uh, tab over there. Um, another one is the comparison tool. So uh, that deviation analysis tool, if I need to compare that to the solid, I can select the polygon and the solid that I have and tell it to do a deviation color plot between the two objects. Um, so I'll just do that here in a second. So I just turn that on, and then I just show the deviation tool and select the mesh that I want to use and the solid that I want to use. So it doesn't have to be the auto surface. It could be any solid in this environment or any polygon. It doesn't have to come from scan data. Um, this will just take two different objects and compare them to one another and show the color delta. In this instance, because I'm doing an auto surface, the tolerances on that are very tight and it fits almost exactly to the scan. So it's going to be green when we finish, except for the side that's chopped off. There's going to be some deviation there. Um, but yeah, this just shows that that tool exists and we use it to just as a validation tool. So thanks a lot for watching this video.